Archie Slaymaker International Box News. I'm putting up the one and only Steffi Ball. You're the second I'm person. A good, I'm a good southpaw, aren't I? You're the second person to start shadow boxing. Tunde Ajayi done it earlier. What? Shadow boxing from camera. Do you know what? He asked me about uh, Dev's move. Did you see Dev sparring? <laughs> I couldn't believe it earlier, but you do have some moves because you did actually knock someone down in your Instagram video. Talk yeah, to me through that. Well, no, I'm, I'm not going to give him the airtime. I'm not giving it him. <laughs> who, who was that? Yeah, just uh, a young lad that's been working on uh, placement with media management he's been having a bit of fun coming in gym and calling me out but it were only friendly it were only a little tap <laughs> only a little tap you knocked him down i know but i, get, I helped him get back up <laughs> well, that, made, that makes it all the better we um i'll jump straight into it i'm gonna jump straight in with terry harper cecilia yep. brackhouse october yep. the 7th just talk to me about that fight and can you just explain why undisputed didn't get made for that fight with the wbc uh in it, what what in what way undisputed so the situation is when Jonas has uh, won the welterweight title and moved down, obviously the championships have come stagnated. But the IBF do, uh, when the title's vacant, they do number one and number two for the championship. And as Terry's champion of another governing body, she can't be rated by IBF. So that's gone out to uh, number one and two. And then the WBC, I believe, were already they'd already agreed a fight with Rankin and Cozin for an interim title, but because the title's vacant, I, I believe they've upgraded that to the full WBC title, so Cozin will be fighting uh, Rankin for that, and Terry and uh, Cecilia's fighting unified, so the WBO title's online for that, so that's where we're at in, in, in the 154 division. Perfect. Obviously, Ivana Habazin, that was on May 27th. Was yeah. it at all frustrating with the last minute replacement on a week's yeah, notice? I'm, yeah, I mean, I'm just, it's like I've just touched base up there. Somebody, everybody's at, were asking questions about AJ. You know, he's gone from Dylan White, then the week later, and I've experienced with Terry. And it's an awkward one because we've just had a, you've just had an eight, ten week training camp f for Cecilia Breakers. And unfortunately, her illness pulled her out next morning. You, you then like we're told we'll box again next week knowing it's not going to be that and get your heading gear for totally somebody else after a full is hard work and all we do is motivate fighters and get in the head but when it comes down to it strategically it's, uh, you, it's, it's just totally different so it's being prepared for somebody else like we in a week it's quite hard you aren't sparred for this person totally different tactics everything goes out the window and even as a coach getting the right tactics within days uh, is an hard, is an hard one to grasp but yeah i mean teddy got the got the job done it was nice to get and match room did a great job getting a straight back out it was a good performance not a best performance under the circumstances but she won a competitive fight quite convincingly so all in all happy and, and i'm and i'm really chuffed that match room have like honoured the fight with Cecilia because it's probably the best fight in the 154 division to be fair and it is such a shame that it, it you know because the titles were vacant that maybe Undisputed couldn't have been on the line but governing bodies this is how it works and really looking forward to it Cecilia is like a modern t modern day great you can't deny what she's done in female boxing is is phenomenal and she's probably going to be a future Hall of Famer, so for Teddy to be sharing the ring with a future Hall of Famer is, 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 is good. Teddy's got that bit between her teeth, she, she respects uh, Cecilia and we know we've got to be at his best to, to pull off a win and we, we, we're preparing well and looking forward to it. It's all focused on Cecilia Breckhouse on October 7th. Can you just touch on training camp and how is that going, obviously getting back into the swing of things? Obviously Terry has been on holiday, but how is that all going? Yeah, it's great. She had, she had a few weeks off from the last fight. We didn't think we were going to be boxing till November time, but uh, we've got we've got this opportunity to be like, it's almost like being in his own town, Sheffield and Doncaster, not many miles away. So Terry's already sold, like knocking up to a thousand tickets. It's been unbelievable. I mean, she does sell big, big tickets and big numbers in our area it's going to be a phenomenal uh, atmosphere like in and around 12,000 sell out you're going to have wood at one side Warrington at other you know Terry's from South Yorkshire in South Yorkshire it's got all the makings for everything and I get I get a little buzz thinking about it really looking forward to it
before I touch on the drug saga that is on everybody's lips, I'm actually going to talk about Conor Coquill versus Hopi Price. Yeah, yeah. That is a great fight on October yeah, 7th. Yeah, I it, think it's, it's quite going under the radar. Yeah, it's uh, Conor's one of them that's uh, come, come, up, come from what small all, so nobody really knows him, but he's a slick southpaw. He's been uh, screaming for an opportunity for the last few years. Obviously, pandemic shut everything down. He's had a few wins on the small halls, winning a central area title, but he's undefeated in 14 fights. Uh, slick fighter and he's, 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 he's looking forward to it. He's, he's living in the gym, in our gym with me, training. He goes home on a Saturday after he's done April. Uh, and uh, yeah, he's, he's very excited and I'm, and, I'm, and I'm happy to be bringing him this opportunity. And, and same again, it's a bit of a Yorkshire derby. He's from Hull, other kids from, uh, other kids from uh, Leeds. So same again, great atmosphere and looking forward to it. It's a great fight, and I'm going to touch on the touch on the drug saga. Like I said, like everybody has probably been asking you tonight. Alicia Baumgartner yeah. tested positive. Just obviously, it's been a a fight for Terry Harper in the in the past where she did yeah. where she did get knocked out. Does that not sit right with you at all? It, it's not like it's hard to have an opinion because like you don't want to sound like you're bitching or anything. I mean. Obviously, there's, there's findings, so there's got to be some answers. So I think until people start having opinions, let's let's get the answers or hear, hear what's got to be said and what's going to be done. But I'm not going to be here bitching and, she, she, you know, it, she's only human and, and I think it'd be unfair to be to be off. But there's no place for drugs and drug cheats in sport. Uh, so let, let's see how this unfolds kind of thing. It seems like... That's the thing everybody's talking about at the moment. As a trainer, as someone who's so close to their fighters, like we spoke about off camera, Rhiannon DeForo, one of your charges coming through, how, how old is Rhiannon? She's 15. 15 years old. Someone coming up and potentially could be fighting people on, yeah. on performance and some drugs. How does that <clears throat> sit? Well, it's like, you know, Rihanna, Rihanna's a big, big fan of female boxing. She's, she'll be a fan of all these. She's watching all these uh, world-class fighters at home, dreaming to be in their position, and it's not great. I mean, women's boxing is just just coming through now. It, it's breaking. I don't. And it's not going to be long before it's not women's boxing. It's boxing, and uh, it's been happening a lot in in males. And it's the first time I've really and, and such a big profile fighter like this. So the girls are going to be, you know, it, it's going to be a kick, kick, kick in the teeth and maybe a little step back, but. Listen, you know, like, Alicia did the job with Terry and, and like, I've been watching her career since and supporting her. Uh, it's well, great to see her become undisputed, but it's just put that little bit of dark nastiness over over all what she's done. So, listen, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sit here. I mean, as I've say, as I do on Twitter, the job's fucked. <laughs> but, you know, I'm going to sit here and watch it unfold. I'm, I'm not going to be having opinions until it, it all... But there's got to be a lot of answers, haven't there? I mean, drugs have been found in, in a sample, so let, let's see what gets said. We do hope it, it all comes out. That's my last question for today. So thank you, Steffi, for talking to you, Touchbox News. No problem.